Microsoft Teams is really at the center of teamwork in Microsoft 365 and enables you to work with your colleagues in a more immersive way wherever they are. With Microsoft Teams for Surface Hub, you have great calling and meeting capabilities. There are three ways you can use Microsoft Teams on Surface Hub 2S. First, if you have some work to do with a colleague and spontaneously want to use an available Surface Hub, you can start an ad hoc meeting. Just tap the call icon on the welcome screen and from there you can either initiate a call with somebody who doesn't have Teams by using the dial pad or start a Teams meeting by tapping meet now. Simply search for the people you want to invite and when you're ready, tap start meeting. The second way to take advantage of Teams is to book a Surface Hub by adding it as an attendee when you create a meeting in Teams or Outlook. If you're unsure of the account name for the Surface Hub, you can find it on the Meet Now screen. If you're setting up the meeting in Outlook, be sure to set it up as a Teams meeting. When it's time for your meeting, simply walk up to the Surface Hub and with just one touch, you're in the meeting. Your colleagues who have joined appear down the side, but if you'd like to see them in full, lifelike quality, you can tap here in the bottom right to enter full screen so you can have engaging face-to-face -face discussions. To exit full screen, just tap the same icon. You can switch the Microsoft Teams panel to the other side of the hub with one tap. You'll see the familiar Teams icons. Here you can turn your camera on, mute your audio, and share your Surface Hub screen so that everyone in the meeting can see what you're looking at. When the meeting started, Microsoft Whiteboard automatically opened to help you start collaborating. By sharing your screen, participants will be able to see your whiteboard, but if you'd like to have a more collaborative session, tap the share whiteboard icon. You'll be prompted to sign in, and then the shared whiteboard will appear for all meeting participants, and they can interact and contribute from right within Teams on any supported device. Finally, there may be times when you have a Teams meeting, but didn't invite a Surface Hub. Joining that meeting is easy. Just tap sign in to see your meetings and files on the welcome screen, enter your work account information and follow the steps to authenticate. Once you've completed signing in, the meeting carousel displays all of your Teams meetings and you can simply tap the one you'd like to join on the Surface Hub. So that wraps up our look at three different ways to use Microsoft Teams on Surface Hub 2S. Now you can connect and collaborate with your colleagues wherever they are.